What's up, YouTube? Black Ass here. And like always, in the McDonald's parking lot with some food. But today, guys, I wanted to talk about something that, you know, it needs to be addressed. And people need to actually, you know, wake up and just take this shit for what it is, for face value, you know. No pun intended. Uh, when it comes to looks and, you know, especially for women, how they are attracted to you is obviously your face. And looks do play a... Uh, like 75% of how like a woman is attracted to you you know the other 30 is money but for some women money is the only thing that's why I put out a video why women only judge niggas by their money which I think is pretty shallow but it is what it is uh When it comes to morals and values and ethics and all that shit, a lot of women don't really give a fuck about that, you know. Unless they're a decent human being or unless they were raised right, but that's not a lot of women nowadays. You know, having a father in a female's life, in my opinion, is really... It's really the benchmark in how, you know, the bitch is going to be when she's an adult, a uh, grown-ass woman. And most women, I should say, you know, when they're in their teens and 20s, majority of the time, they only go for a nigga that looks a certain way. And, you know, we can look at all the actors, the athletes, you know, the people in business that are rich. We can look at everybody that has status and people look up to them some some way. You know, any role model that's popular, literally anybody that has some type of status, nine times out of ten, they look good to women. And women just gravitate towards them, you know. And when it comes to me personally, I don't think I'm, like, ugly, you know, but I'm not sexy. I'm just average. And being average, you know, I used to beat myself up, but when it comes to the whole, like, you know, growing into my looks, I would say I'm not even there yet, you know, because what women don't realize with men you know, a nigga's looks changes over time. You know, when you're 16, you're not going to look like how you are at like 23, you know. Obviously, niggas go through puberty and shit. And, you know, it's also like, especially when it comes to your face, if you got acne or whatever, it's all diet based. And if you eat shit like basically what I am doing right now. You know, you finna break out and shit, and then you finna have bad skin. But even if you do have, like, clear skin, you know, it's all in your face structure, you know. I didn't know this until a couple years back, but just that if your face is, like, symmetrical or I don't want to sound mean, but... Actually, let me not say that. You know, if your face just looks like crooked or some shit, uneven, women nine times out of ten are not gonna like you. Like, they're gonna hate you. Like, a lot. It doesn't matter if you're nice to them, you know. If you have like a double chin and 
you know, if you have, like, I don't even know how to describe it, because women, it's weird to me, because I'm a nigga, and I don't pay attention to it, but for women, they even look at a nigga's jawline, if that shit is even, like, I guess, masculine looking or not, you know, if you have, like, a, like a strong ass looking chin, women find you sexy as fuck for some reason. Mm. Cause it's all in the shape of your face. If your face is, like I said, uneven or some shit, and you look like you're out of shape, you know, women are not going to really like you. And this is just common sense. Like, even for me, like, I don't want a super out of shape female, you know. I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash for that. But I know damn well when it comes to, like, niggas that are overweight, bitches hate that shit even more. So, it's kind of like everybody has their own standards, you know. And if yours varies from mine, how would it make sense for me to get judged or bashed for that? I mean, it's kind of my, like, preference. You know, everybody has their own preference, but I say when it comes to like Chaz and Tyrone's, uh, the Pookies and the Ray Rays, uh, the fuck niggas and the niggas that don't give a damn, you know, about really anything, women find these niggas attractive solely based off of, uh, they don't give a fuck, and... It's their looks. Most women find these niggas to be attractive. Like, very attractive. You know, it took me time to realize this. Because back in high school, I wasn't necessarily ugly. But I was still growing into my looks. And a lot of women, you know, were just obsessed with niggas like that were on, like, the basketball team or the football team, you know. The football team, them niggas fucking lost every fucking game. But these hoes look past all of that shit because it didn't matter if they were even losing shit. They just look attractive, you know. And that's something I also noticed, you know. Attractive people can get away with a lot of shit. A lot of shit. You know. It's kind of fucked up if you ask me. Because these niggas, they could, like, do no harm to women. They could do no wrong. <clears throat> A classic example. Jeremy Meeks. Y'all don't know that nigga. Out. Just go on YouTube and just look up Jeremy Meeks. The prisoner that turned into a model. You know. This nigga came fresh out of the slammer. And... To women, his mugshot was the sexiest mugshot ever. <clears throat> but it's kind of fucked up because do y'all know what that nigga's track record is? Been it, uh, being in and out of jail, you know, probably committed mass, like, you know, homicides and shit like that. But it's funny because women look past that, all of that shit. 
And because he's attractive, they give him a pass. You know, they kind of just write it off. You know, serial killers and all them niggas back in the day. At the time, uh, like I'm talking like the 70s.